Let's go for a walk. Just got finished getting my door assignment. To go ahead, bump up to the dock, and try to get unloaded. Now, being that this is Dollar General, this is one of them companies that charges you to unload the load that's on the uh, that's on the trailer. If that is, we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, so what's up? Like I said earlier, I am uh, I'm here at this. Uh, Dollar General right here in Fulton, um, Missouri. And it's hot. It's sunny and hot today. It's sunny and hot today. Oh yeah, shut that right quick to get some shade. You know what I'm saying? Whoa, man, what's good everybody? What's good? Well, I, I made it to uh, made it to the receiver, man. Um, it wasn't it wasn't that bad of a drive. Um, if I had the hours yesterday, I would have I would have made it here uh, this morning. But I uh, pretty much ran out of, ran out of hours, and I shut it down at the uh, at the Agassi Casino. It was a boat. I don't have no footage. Um, it's it's basically a small uh, boat casino. Didn't have that many table games. They they had a they had a ultimate Texas Hold'em and craps. So those the only two that I played. Uh, crap game was going was going semi good, but. It really wasn't no shooters at the table, so you know, made maybe about maybe about fifteen, twenty dollars. Then I went over and played uh, some Texas Hold'em, and uh, that wasn't all that hot either. But all in all, it was uh, it was pretty good. You know, I met some people in there, had some you know, had some fun, drunk a little bit. And uh, went back out to the truck and uh, went to sleep. Got up this morning, you know, got up this morning, went in there, brushed my teeth, washed my face, all that good stuff. Um, and made it here to the uh, receiver, which is Dollar General. Dollar General. You know, this is the dollar accounts. You know, they're part of... Well, they're not part of Family Dollar, but they're they're all along the same, the same Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Dollar this. And when you go into their stores, ain't nothing costs a dollar. I mean, you know, usually it's like two dollars and two dollars and up. Ooh, what I want to talk about right quick while I'm here. Let's get a quick thought on lumpers, man. <laughs> I mean, lumpers in trucking is the biggest racket that the trucking industry ever seen, man. When I went to the when I went to the office and gave the lady my paperwork, she goes, "So you're gonna opt for a lumper?" And I says, uh, "Yeah, I mean." What's the other option? Oh, well, the other option is you can unload it. And I'm going like, no. <laughs> I'm going like, no, this, you know, this is this is your product, you know? My thing is this, man. We, you know, the company, not not us, you know, it don't, it don't affect our, it don't affect us. It, it just affects the company. That the receiver, charge the company to unload their products 
<laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Say what? <laughs> and it's and when you think about it, it's funny as hell, dude. You like it, it's like me coming to the gas station. I'm I'm paying for the gas, right? But I'm charging dude to pump the gas for me. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, that's if, if if the gas station was full service, you know, that that was probably not a good example, but or you come to a receiver and they 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 charge you to they they charge the company to unload their own product and that's and that's crazy to me man i mean i've never seen a big record like that ever since i've been driving man it just amazed me that all these companies uh especially the dollar the dollar accounts um they hired they hired this company called capstone Hell of a record you guys got going. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice if we could keep a little more of that. Out of that, the unloaders. Uh, so explain to me how, how that worked, man. I mean, what? You, you, they, the company hired you guys, or? Yeah, uh, Dollar General contracted Capstone. Right. And then they pay us per day. So the unloader will see about $12 at a time. Uh, okay. So, yeah. But big, but big way to sit in the office. But y'all don't get paid until the end of the week, though. Right, right yeah. Still, but y'all get paid. Yeah, it's just like a regular paycheck and everything. It's just we get paid per trailer. But, like, on something like that, let's see about 10% of that. The company makes the rest. Just sit in the damn air division office. Or down here breaking the bed. You know, normal American stuff. So it says, so this is so this is all you guys working in the, in the warehouse, right? Oh, no, it's, we're just the unloaders. Oh, y'all just the unloaders. Yeah. See, uh, Dollar General is a cost center. They only cost money. And with uh, them bringing in any kind of revenue, like with the checks, kind of throws off the whole, I don't know. That's what, how they explain to us. So basically, they pay us to do the work that no one else really wants to do, because this is probably the, you know, as far as this warehouse goes, this shit is, like, it gets. But uh, also, we take the, take this, uh, the checks and all that stuff, we deposit and stuff, and then interact with their cost center. Because they, they're only allowed to cost a dollar of money, which to me is stupid. But they, at this day and age, where everything's based on money, and this whole, this whole warehouse is designed to cost them money. But you know, what do I know? I'm so it's sure. basically half and half. That's, that's drop Dollar General employees yeah. that's coming oh, to get the... Yep, even the ones that are checking it in. Like the guys on the dock, tagging everything, they're Dollar General. All we do is strictly unload and clean their totes because they're full of piss and they don't want to deal with it. Like, literally. Oh, that's nasty. But they pay us pretty well to do it. No, uh, they're, see, they got a department called Repack where they take stuff out of the boxes and stick them in totes. Yeah. Well, when the store sends them back, well, you can just imagine how fucking nasty the store is. So. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they send them oh, back so, to oh, 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 when they be sitting outside, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. And a lot of the guys back there, the closest bathrooms up here, and you've seen how long that, that fucking building goes. They ain't going all the way down here to piss. They're pissing with the tote. And letting us clean it for 80 cents a tote. It's a bitch, isn't it? I see. It's all about the money. And of course, our big wigs are like, hell yeah, 80 cents a tote. We ain't got to mess with it. That's just extra money for us. We hire an extra guy to clean this out of totes. There's other things, but there's literally a lot of, a lot of things. <laughs> well, there you have it. A little bit of explanation on uh, lumpers and uh, lumper fees and piss. <laughs> I don't think I want to be that guy to clean the toes. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys might not be familiar with Capstone, but Capstone is the main lumper service. You know, they 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 hire them on so they'll charge us to unload their i mean their products i guess it's just trying to be cheap is all and and here's a, another thing with that 
they take a long freaking time to unload your truck, dude. Something that only takes like at least an hour. No. Lumper companies, let me tell you, they take the longest time, man. While I'm talking to you guys, I'm about to fill out the fill out the check. See, we get this the checks from the company. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, see, this, these are the checks from the company that they give us so that we can we can we can pay them. Sometimes, you know, if we don't have the checks to pay them, they'll probably make a they'll probably make a uh, negotiation with the company so the company could like e-pay them or something like that you know but it's just it's just a wild thing to me right that they that they can that they can get away with it and they get away with it they get away with it you know and like I said when they unload you oh my god they take so freaking long because they gotta first they got this is what they gotta do First, they gotta unload the truck. After they unload the truck, then they gotta re, they gotta resort the product. After they resort the product, then they gotta count the product. After they count the product, then they'll come and you know either give me a call to let me know how much, uh, how much it is the how much the fee is. Um, after I get the call, then what I will do is is I will call uh, my fleet manager, and I will tell my fleet manager, "Hey, I got a lumper fee." And what they'll do is you tell them they'll they'll make you know they'll make the appropriate transfer to your to your uh, e card that you have your fuel card. Uh, once they make the transfer to your fuel card, then after you. Then after that, you call your card company. Um, in my case, it's U.S. Bank. And then when I call U.S. Bank, then what they'll do, you give them the information and everything, then what they'll do, they'll transfer the money from the card over to the check so that when they're call, when they're called the check will automatically be approved and be you know paid for it then after that you give them the check and make sure you get the receipt because if you don't if you don't get the receipt and scan it in with your paperwork guess what guess where that money's going to get uh get uh guess where that money is going to come from it's gonna come out of your paycheck. <laughs> so definitely make sure you have the receipt. Once you have the receipt, then you scan it in with your paperwork. And after you scan it in with your paperwork, then you'll get reimbursed or in or in most cases they won't even they won't even charge your check or anything like that. So but yeah, that's that's how lumpers work, man. I mean, lumpers. This, like I said before, is the biggest racket in trucking, man. And and they make money, dude. They they get the money from you. Some of them charge as little as fifty bucks, uh, and some of them charge as more than two hundred dollars, man. So that they making stacks, man. They making stacks. But yeah, lumpers, man. That's wow. So I can't say that, you know, they, they don't deserve to charge that amount. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's about it, man. Short little video, you know, about lumpers right quick. Before I leave, though, I seen this video. Um, and it was titled, Swift Driver Hits Female. Um, look. You know, we, we should never, you know, we should never fight one another. We should never have, we should never have any issues with one another. I mean, if, if, if we tick one another off, we just, you know, say our peace and then go on about our business. But when you actually physically put your hands on somebody, 
you know, one of my co-workers, um, good guy, been here for a little bit over 18 years. You know, he, he you know, he let his, um, he let his anger get the best of him and both of them, you know, both the drivers got into a physical conf confrontation and they both lost their job over it because, you know, that's in, that's in policy. No rough housing, no horse playing, definitely no fighting. So, you know, but, you know, if you get into a, into a situation that you think that's going to turn confrontational, it's better for you to just turn and walk away, you know. You, you got a job to do, you know, you got a job to do. And, and fighting is not part of that job. So guys, enjoy that video right quick. Leave your comments in the comments below about it. Let's talk about it, you know. Um, I say the guy that was, that was recording the video, maybe he should have got out and intervened. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was a female. guys thanks a lot thanks for watching thumbs up everybody you guys have a good day uh don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later lockout man that is me yes yes that is me and i'm out <laughs>